Hi everyone, it is Prajish Humvees. In today's session, we are talking about determiners. As we know, determiners always play a major role in sentence formation. It is very important to proper sentence structure and a comprehension. Determiners always come before a noun. Determiners are important because they work to clarify a noun and make a sentence as precise and focused as possible. Determiners are mandatory before a singular noun but are optional when it comes to introducing a plural noun. Mainly there are four types of determiners, articles, possessives, demonstrative and quantifiers. Uh, do remember one thing, uh, this one is just a rough classification, a different one is always possible. Uh, before detailing these uh, determiners, I think at first we must understand how and why a determiner is important to proper sentence structure. Uh, see one example, he is our worker. See in this example or in this sentence, uh, the word uh, our is a determiner. This determiner brings uh, sense for the entire sentence. When we omit this determiner, the sentence doesn't make any kind of sense. Uh, see that example, he is a worker. No, it doesn't imply any kind of sense or meaning. So determiners are important to make a sentence as precise and focused as possible. Uh, now we can talk about our four types of uh, determiners. First one, articles. See, in this situation, determiners come in the form of articles. Both definite and indefinite articles are determiners. Definite and indefinite articles are used based on uh, whether the noun is specific or general. If the noun is used in general, we use a and n as determiners. In case the noun is specific, we use the as a determiner. See some example. It is an apple. See in this situation or in this uh, example, we used uh, apple in general. So we used uh, n as a determiner because the noun apple starts with a vowel sound. The second one, he is a fraud. See in this example, we used a as a determiner because the noun fraud starts with a consonant sound. Third one, he is looking for the red one. See in this example, we used uh, the noun red as a specific one because he is not looking for any red, he is looking for the specific red. So we used the as a determiner. Uh, in this uh, point, you must understand one thing, all articles are determiners. Uh, this all are about articles and then we can talk about the second point, possessive. Possessive determiners are used to uh, claim some sort of uh, ownership. For example, he is our worker. In this situation or in this example, the word our is a determiner. Here it is used to show some kind of ownership. Uh, not only this word, uh, we have some more examples for possessive determiners like uh, his, her, your. All these are examples for possessive determiners. Third one, demonstrative determiners. Demonstrative determiners demonstrate and function as a pointers of particular noun. Basically, demonstrative determiners indicate the location or position of a noun from the point of view of speakers. See that example. I don't like that man. See in this example, the word that is a demonstrative determiner. Here it is used to uh, indicate the location of the noun. Uh, we have some other examples for demonstrative determiner like that, these, those, all these are examples for demonstrative determiners. Demonstrative determiners are used to uh, demonstrate or indicate the location or position of a noun. So uh, these all are about demonstrative determiners. Now we can talk about the fourth one, quantifiers. As the name suggests, quantifiers are used to express the quantity. It can answer the question how much or how many. See some example, many people have won the prize. See in this example, the word many is a uh, quantifier. Here it is used to express the quantity. We have wide range of uh, quantifiers. Look at our list. All these are examples for quantifiers. Uh, we can use all these quantifiers to express the quantity. Now we have talked about four types of determiners. First one article, second one uh, possessive, third one demonstrative, fourth one quantifiers. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to discuss each one separately. We will do it in the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, 
nice to meet you have a great day catch you later bye